today. From Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. We are just a few miles from the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Two teams have met back in Super Bowl 37 in San Diego. The Bucks and Raiders are underway. And the opening kickoff will not be returned. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. On the first snap, here's Mayfield. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Working out of the gun, Mayfield looking middle, and that's complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They will run for the first time here with White. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. Here now a third down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Fourth down, here's Jay Camarda on to punt for the Bucks. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line. The defense is when he puts it all together. O'Connell looking to throw on first. Throw left side complete. That's Bowers. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because 
He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's a hell shredder defense. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. And O'Connell now to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. Back deep for the Bucs is Devin Tompkins. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out. First and ten at their own 37. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Mike, Two hey, yards hey. to go, second down. Hey, here we go. 41's the mic. 41's the mic. <laughs> they stay on the ground with White. Run, 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 run. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Come off the ball, hard. 45 to Mike, 45 to Mike. Go, go, go. First down, here's White. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. This is second and eight. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Mayfield. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down?
fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Let's go. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Throwing on first down, O'Connell. Short pass tip, but caught anyway. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. But when we see the ball tipped in the air, sometimes we get a little roll change, don't we? Because when it's in the air, sometimes the defensive back becomes a receiver. And in this case, the receiver looked like a defensive back, but ended up a receiver. He caught it as a receiver. <laughs> hey, it worked out. It worked out really well for them. But I'm telling you, the defensive guys, frustrated. Oh, frustrated. They're going to catch it in film. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and ten, it's O'Connell. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Vita Vea collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. To throw here, O'Connell. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. One heck of a third down conversion, 33 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. First carry of the game for Zamir White. And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10 yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they? Moving the ball. Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay. Let's not let that happen here as we take over again. From the 10, first and goal. Call it a gain of nine there, and it puts him in better shape here for second and goal. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? White. We'll take this one in for a Vegas touchdown. Well, 
Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7-zip Vegas. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was finished off with a touchdown run by Zamir White. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now Mayfield lost the football, and the Raiders pick it up. And he'll be brought down around the seven-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Following the fumble recovery. O'Connell. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But I, let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long ways away from that happening, but that has to be what they're thinking right now. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We take a win. Throwing on second down. Here's O'Connell. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Bowers. Touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change who's guarding him. Carlson on for the PAT. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. 
And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Tampa Bay offense set to go again. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Completes a Palmer. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Mayfield's throw taken in by Palmer. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 44-yard line. They go with White on the counter, and he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Here we go, here we go. 41's coming, 41's in motion. Mayfield looks to throw. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's gonna make it third down and less than a yard. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. All day, baby, all day. 45, 45, 45. They run the draw play. This is White. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Robert Spillane, the linebacker there on the tackle. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and nine. 45 to Mike, 45 to Mike. Opting to run again here with White. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 10 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Field now looking to throw on first down. This is caught. 
And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Good job, good job. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. White will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. From back at the four, here's second and goal. I'm here all day. 41's the mic, 41's the mic. Check, check, check. Here's Mayfield. Now he's got it. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Let's blow it up. Cade Otten from four yards out. And the Buccaneers have cut it back within a score. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to so the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And Kate Otten capped things off with a touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. First down throw, O'Connell. Throw left side, pulled in by Tucker. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now O'Connell. And down he goes, a bucket air sack. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. We had a pretty good idea that they were going to pressure this young quarterback, and that's now two sacks here in the first quarter. And, yeah, this is a secret to exactly nobody, because if you're a rookie quarterback, you know you're going to see pressure. Defenses want to see how you're going to handle it, or if it forces you into making bad decisions. That's their goal. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now it's O'Connell. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact 
is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now, that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. Coming to you, coming to you. Forced out to his left. And shedding through the tackle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. I had met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. First and 10. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bowers. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. On second down, they'll run with White. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's third and six. Field right, field right. <laughs> Throwing, O'Connell. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. The kick by Carlson is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back now comes Tampa Bay. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Open man, it's Palmer. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On the draw, it's White. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now 
After 117-7, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. This is White. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Keep it on the ground, White again. And the ball is knocked out, and the Raiders pick it up. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. He has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Second and short now following the fumble. They'll go up the middle with White. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They run straight ahead here with White. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. So first and 10 now from the 30. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Two minutes gone by second quarter. Play fake, Mayfield. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. 41 To throw, Mayfield. There's a short one taken in by Otten. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now back to the ground game with White. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. Mayfield down. The quick slant caught. And the Bucs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now the former Cal Bear, it's Patrick Laird. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Second and goal from the one. It's a part now. My five, my five. Check, 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 check. Throwing Mayfield. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. This Raider defense not given in. They'll try to hold once more on third and goal. Now Mayfield. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Buccaneers are back within a score. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And the returner, Trey Tucker, going to bring this one out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Yeah, yeah, we dominate today. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Play action. Now O'Connell. This is caught by Tucker. 
And they work this well upfield across the 45. 25 yards that time. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. You can't block me. You can't block me. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Back to throw. O'Connell. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 28. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big-time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. On the handoff, this is White, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. So from the 26-yard line, here's the second and eight. Here's O'Connell. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first and 10, O'Connell. He completes it right side of White. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Off the play fake, O'Connell. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. The Raiders on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Right there, 54, right there, right there. 54. Back to throw. O'Connell. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. 
Carlson able to put this one through. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Offense heading back out, and with them comes Rashad White. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. On first and ten, Mayfield looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the gun, Mayfield. This is caught by Evans. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. And he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two is not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. A first down throw for Mayfield. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They will run with White out of the shotgun. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Now second and five. 45, 45. Mike, 45. That's right. That's right. Looking to throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate, maybe, to get that back. It's third down. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. And this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that cuts the lead down to just three, 20 to 17. 
So it was fourth and one. They wind up taking the three. But I'm not sure that that offensive unit, judging by the sideline, <laughs> Charles was in 100% agreement with the decision. No, not at all. But the head coach has final call on this. We know that. But let's face it, offenses want to feel like, hey, you believe in us? Let us go for it? We'll see if that is a problem for them moving forward in this game. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They start to drive with White. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. But I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them and do I have enough confidence to make a play? From the gun, he'll hand this off, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Another six-yard carry, same as last play, first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw, O'Connell. He finds his man, complete. It's Bowers. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Back to throw. O'Connell. Here we go. That's caught left side. Myers with it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or? Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Hands it off out of the gun. And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. Good job, good job. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, one. Looking to throw, O'Connell. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw is a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one. And that one falls incomplete. Here's second and ten. Throwing again, O'Connell. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, 
oftentimes what do you resort to? Your legs, try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. Here's White. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. Second and goal from inside the five. Who that? Who that? Mark 54. Mark 54. Again, this is White. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Zamir White with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders had six to their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Carlson now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was finished off with a touchdown run by Zamir White. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Mayfield on first down. Here's a quick pass. He's got Chris Godwin. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. This one taken in by Otten. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball. But I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can. And that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. Meanwhile, Mayfield's throw complete to Otten. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him the football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best. 
and keeps him out of it. Well, and now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Raiders pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Watch the run, watch the run. Mayfield. And it's caught. Touchdown. Trey Palmer from six yards away. And the Bucs get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today it's track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good, and the lead is down to a field goal. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And just inside of a minute left, Charles, they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. Tucker hauls it in over the middle. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. The throw here. O'Connell got his man complete over the middle. That's Bowers. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. O'Connell. He gets this to Devontae Adams. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 
He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And O'Connell now to throw. Open man right side, Myers. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw... Maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Back to throw again. It's Myers again with another catch. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Once again, O'Connell back to throw. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, and this one just a chipping. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando. There standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And able to get this out to the 25. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? 
I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. O'Connell looking to throw on first. Open man is Myers. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. On first down, O'Connell. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. This is caught inside the 15. Oh, they can't stop it. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. A big play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. O'Connell's throwing for it. Flushed out right, and he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in you can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially but you have to do it without pressing because pressing that'll lead you into bigger check, errors check, check 41. now mayfield and the bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 25 yard line a nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field. On a handoff, it's White. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. From the 42-yard line, here's the second down and nine. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. 
And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Here's Mayfield. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 49-yard line. Mayfield to throw it. On the left side, a catch by White. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Hey, 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 hey. On the draw, here's White. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. For a first. This is third down. Mayfield looks to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. First down, here's White. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Here's a second and eight. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. High five. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 81 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Running out of the gun with White. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Second down and eight. Double tight, double tight. 45, 45. Mike, They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. 
oh, partner just a second earlier and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped they'll try to pick this up on the ground with white yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three leaves him with a fourth and one brandon one thing about blitzes they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll run for it. This is White. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to be really good about that. That's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense. And they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. here with O'Connell. That's caught by Myers. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. On the give, it's White. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I do. Opting to run again here with White. Fights through and now a crease. A solid stiff arm. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 49 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. But that's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. down throw O'Connell he finds his man complete it's Bowers and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 another nice gain 16 yards there and a first down again and passing yardage wise now up over 350 in this game pretty nice performance definitely that which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover if you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. 
Now a give to White. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine. Now it's O'Connell. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. 54 Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. That is caught. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 19. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. O'Connell on first and 10. He goes right back to Adams. That's complete. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Second down and six now. Play action. Now Connell. And incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To the air again with O'Connell. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Tucker. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. If this for baseball, we call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. He's not going to get me. 54. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. They'll try and run for it. They're able to convert on fourth to bring up first and goal. That's a big three yards right there. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. And fights through one man. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. 59 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Second and goal from the one. Throwing, O'Connell. And yeah, that's gonna be caught for a Raider touchdown. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Raiders go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points.
And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Yeah, three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, and now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. The second and 10 now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. Going right side is White. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon, and that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 41 Mike, 41 Mike. They'll pitch it out to White. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Now a second and ten. What do we got? What do we got? They run straight ahead here with White. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. 
That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Third and five. Now O'Connell. Throw left side complete. That's Bowers. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that'll bring up fourth down. I like the thought process. I like the design. But I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man. Because if you're going to run that drag route, you've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And they will take over first and 10. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and ten hey, hey, at their own 18. Four down, four down, four down. They'll start here with a handoff to White. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Times the mic, times the mic. Hey, time, time. They go play action, Mayfield. He gets it over the middle to Palmer. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. They'll go up the middle with White. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the Yo, first down run. Here, he gets baby. maybe three. Christian Wilkins there defensively for the stop. Three quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Second and seven. 65, 65, 65. Throwing Mayfield. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 43. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and one. Now Mayfield. That's taken in by Palmer. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 15-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, 
you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10 to throw Mayfield. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Second and 10. Target, 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 target. 45. 45 the Now a give up the middle. This is White. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The Bucks on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and seven. Mayfield now. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bucks try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. They begin the drive on the ground. It's right. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They run the draw play. This is White. Give them three yards and a fresh set of downs. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. back to White here on first down. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Get ready, get ready, get ready. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. They keep it on the ground, right again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick I'm with it. Run you over. I'm going to run you over. <laughs> From the gun, they'll try to run it. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. On the handoff, this is White. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll come up second and seven. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Give them 12 right, yards right, that up, time at a Las Vegas first. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. On a handoff, it's White. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense, rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. 52 the mic, boys, 52. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Off the play fake. O'Connell. Flush to his right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. This is second and eight. You, 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 you. Hey, Mike Mike Here's O'Connell. Dancing to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket. 
because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. The Raiders on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and 15. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Man, it's good to see you out there, baby. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Mayfield on first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. That's completed right side to Palmer. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle them inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Here's third and a few inches. Hey, we're pretty quiet, D. We're pretty quiet. Hey, 4 one Mike. Four one. Okay. Mayfield like off that. the play just fake. Like He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Check 45 to Mike. Check 45 to Mike. They'll try and run for it. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. The Bucks try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we go again. Here we go again. 
In motion, the tight end. First down, here's White. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. You got nothing. By 52, by 52. They stay on the ground with White. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We ain't beginning to tear you up. Don't get nervous. Oh. Back to throw, O'Connell. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are, and let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all, but in today's football, you just go ahead and save her. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Tampa.